What's up guys? So a uh, little training vlog from this weekend. Um, typical weekend's worth of training here, starting off with some cross fat supersets, uh, five plate bellus deadlifts, 38 inch box jump to a death jump. And man, I forgot just how taxing death jumps are in general. And uh, I've never really been able to do them from this high either. Uh, I've got a deload incoming shortly. So I'm really trying to hammer out uh, everything. Um, but yeah, I was 237 morning of, uh, this Saturday work here. Um, so that's a new low. We're approaching 60 pounds down on the cut so far. Um, followed up with some RDLs and some wagon wheel pulls. Uh, the lifts are definitely suffering. I'm doing excessive amounts of cardio and, you know, it's funny. I've always promoted cardio and, you know, cardio definitely doesn't kill your gains, um, in moderation, uh, I'm doing, you know, hit lists, everything in between, uh, as much as I can just to help facilitate weight loss. And it's, it's affecting my lower body lifts, uh, the most obviously, because in doing the lists and the hit cardio, my legs are very much involved, be it weighted carries, walking, elliptical machines, sprints, things like that. So it's definitely, definitely taking a toll on my lower body lifts, squat in particular. I, uh, I, I squatted 475 last week. Um, it's on my Instagram. Uh, I, I upload my lifts there regularly, and it was it was near top end for right now. And you know, you combine being in a caloric deficit since March, uh, the lower body weight, of course, and then again all the cardio I'm doing. And there's certainly a little bit of interference happening there. Uh, yeah, I'll be. Be happy to get some calories back and you know drop some of the cardio of course i'll never drop all the cardio but to drop some of it would be great uh 445 on bench uh pretty happy with that it's obviously you know i've benched way more before but this is where we are now um been maintaining bench fairly well all things considered i hit it with some larson presses after that and basically on sundays i'm just using bench as a warm-up uh before I do other upper body lifts. In this case, it ended up being log was my main movement. I don't know how much the log weighs, uh, but it's the log plus 150 right here. Uh, it's, it's either a 90 pound log or a 120 pound log. I am not sure. So this, this is either 270 or a lot lower than 270. Uh, 240, yeah. Um, I hope it's not 240. I, I feel like, feel like it's probably a 120 pound log. I can streak overhead press 240 still. So, um, yeah. And then I did the log plus 170 here. And this was, this was all I had on the day for sure. Um, but training's going well. I feel fantastic. Uh, I'm still looking to cut a few more pounds. Um, I didn't really do any of my normal crossfat uh, hit work on these days. It was raining outside. So that kind of puts a damper on that. I made up for it with some extra lists. I usually, I'll do my, my hit crossfat work uh, after my main movements. And then I'll do some lists after that. And it's usually about 30 minutes of lists. So I, I ended up just doing an hour on the elliptical after... Uh, both of these sessions, since I didn't get to do my, my outside, you know, I've uploaded some of the live stream conditioning work that I do. I uh, didn't get to do any on these days, so we just made up for it with some extra lists. Currently on a 24 hour fast right now, did some fasted cardio this morning. We'll do some more fasted cardio on my lunch break. Um, and I'll go watch my son uh, at Jiu Jitsu class after work, and then I will finish off the 24 hour fast with some beef and tomatoes this evening and garlic. Peace, bitch.